And YouTube thinks that they're going to be doing something could be us. to like remedy something else, but then they're going to be opening themselves to another liability of something that they actually caused. It's, it's stupid. stupid. Like, that, I saw a lot of tweets that you were putting out yesterday, and you were... Spot on. Yeah. I mean, Spot everything on. that you said is exactly what I feel, what I'm sure a lot of other people were feeling There's no right doubt about now. it. And it's like, what I don't understand is like, what is this thing? Like, because I didn't know about this. It's like, one of your tweets was about like, they do this thing with your face. Google Vision. Yeah, it can track literally facial expression and denote what your actual emotion is based off of your, the vertices of your eyebrows and the positioning of your mouth. It'll know if you're angry, sad. It'll know you're Lorenz Abraham who lives at this address because it's hooked up to Google, which yeah, has all the information on all of us. Also, they're linked with 23andMe. They own that company, so they all have all of our DNA. Oh they have God. all of our search queries. They have all of our information. They have Google Maps. They have everything in the freaking world, and YouTube is just That's part scary. of that. Yeah. Wow. So it's like, do they, you know, the information that they're taking from your thumbnail of your facial expressions and everything have to do with whether they're going to demonetize you, not push you out, all that stuff? Essentially, if you have a face that's like, you, people are more right. likely to maybe buy the product that's presenting that or, you know, if it's a smiley face that's What if you promoting. have resting face? What you do? It's like the guy who's name is Steven that. Right. YouTube's bots don't care that that's his last name. They see wow. that word, they hear that word, they're gonna ding you, and that's what happened to the guy. That's what happened to a bunch of other people who have names that are like Joe Bump. Maybe that's why we're getting screwed. Right. So that's discrimination. Really, if there's discrimination, it's just like every no, LGBT, LGBT, everybody in that community. Uh, I just saw somebody reaching out that the channel name is Gay God with a million subscribers. Every video he makes because it's gay. YouTube has a label on that. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, somebody's got to be the voice. At least being honest. Yeah, somebody's yeah. got to support the fire, though. I mean, at least I'm being honest. Honestly, I felt this way every single day going to college, going to the bank, working for my dad, playing soccer for a coach. This goes so much deeper for me personally than just making videos on a platform. It's that same feeling of undervalued, of not feeling like there's even a purpose anymore. Mm -hmm. We used to make videos and actually have fun doing it. Right. Now most of our time is spent strategizing on how can we make a video yeah. that our audience can actually see. Let me tell you, today's video that we put out was going to be smoking turkey. And I had to text Tom and say, wait a second, smoking might get demonetized. And I think let's that, put it to smoke turkey. And I think even smoked, I think you guys got low key suppressed. Right. And I learned just from my Michael video, I was like, oh, collabing with a YouTuber will bring the views up. Because I put exposed in the title, they think it's exposing nudes. It also could be part of their harassment, hate speech, new policies that are stifling the videos. And that's the thing that I'm very frustrated with. Right. Is because not only can you not do like we just had a fan call and say their favorite th two things was the Psycho Series and My Virtual Escape. Not only can you not do the Psycho Series, and I keep having to hit home, and what hits home is I remember that grind. Mm -hmm. I remember two videos a day. I remember everything on the freaking line. Right. I remember millions of people tuned into that series, mm -hmm. and I remember us, the whole family deteriorating, having my parents having to hide. I think of all the blood, sweat, and tears put into that, all the sacrifice put into that, and to know if I was doing that now, it would be all for nothing. Right. It would be all for nothing. And then to think that all the grind of my virtual escape, we made nothing for that. While YouTube has these series that are doing the same exact thing, while Netflix and Hollywood, they have all these series that are doing the same exact thing. And here's the thing. You could say, okay, that's entitled, Jesse. That's entitled to think that your art deserves to get paid or whatever. And whatever. you could even make the argument that, okay, yeah, I got a quarter of a million views on each video. And, okay. But here's the thing, is that I helped YouTube make millions of dollars from the mm -hmm. Psycho series. Yep. So they owe a commitment to me. So when I come out with McJuggernuggets, their premier creator, who was in the top 500 channels on YouTube, when he makes a brand new series, you support that. Right. And even if you don't want to give me any money or anything, at least don't demonetize every single episode and then age restrict the pilot. Right. 
Because that makes no freaking sense. Right. After everything I did for the platform, after me being like, being a YouTuber is the best. Like, we made YouTube a respectable career. Yeah, yeah. We made this yep. a thing. I can show analytics that oh. I brought them millions of dollars. And what do I get in return? I get everything dinged. I'm now talking about leaving the platform. I did an official thread yesterday, and they don't even care. I have not gotten a message, I, and I know, I know I won't. Right. They don't care. Right. And, and the thing is, I can remember... All the people that would would write in and you know back in the psycho series be like i want to be a youtuber now yeah because they were watching you and say i want to be a youtuber i want yeah. to be the gamer i want to be that guy gave people hope and it's like now it's not it's not happening for these people and that's the yeah. thing that breaks my heart and where my brain space has been the last couple years and I, i'm tired i'm i'm seriously done living in it because the thing that i've loved my entire life is now gone 13 years of my life, even the heart of the psycho kid himself, is dead. His dream was to be a YouTuber. Right. His dream was to follow his passion. They killed it. They killed it for right. me. Because I would love to go and let's go explore some haunted, haunted abandoned places. Right. Every day we're gonna be like, well, you can't do, you can't say right. that. You can't. You know, we're gonna have to retake that. You right. can't say that. And you can't, you can't do yeah. that. You can't have blood. You can't even have blood. We can't have blood. You can't burn Ursula. You can't burn Ursula. The monkeys pushing Edgar into the state. We can't do you that. Can't do that. Guess what? We can't do f anything on this f platform. Right. So that's why I'm done. Right. And that's and that's why I'm talking about going full fledged because it's like, okay, I would love. I miss the days where I would come over to your house and be like, yo, we want to film. Right. When we're thinking about the creative, we're thinking about what we can right. do instead of, I don't know how to, uh, yeah. uh, uh, what, do we do? what do we title it, well, uh, yeah. you know, how long does it need to yeah. be so we can get, so we can access our own viewers, yeah. because we can even access our own subscribers, right? because they're stifling notifications, because they're suppressing views, the whole system's Yeah. and if you guys haven't seen my Twitter thread, watch my Twitter thread, we're live on the podcast right now, thank you guys for listening, check out Larry's Loungecast, links in the description. Uh, also check out my Twitter thread as I'm going off. There'll be a more official announcement. Pretty much I'm done with YouTube as of January 1st, but I'm already transitioning over, guys. Um, Storyfire is serious. I'm gonna be. I'm being more truthful, Jeffrey. So Jeffrey's here. I don't I know. I appreciate that. So you guys will see more of that down the line. But it's the same feeling I got at the bank till eventually I literally ripped off my tie. I was like, I'm gonna be a big YouTuber. It's sad to see that that aspect of it's changed. I just know I want to create something. For everybody listening, for all you guys, I want to see the next Psycho series. I want to see the next My Virtual Escape. For one, I can't make the right now. And if you want to see the next McJuggernaut's project, it's already existed. It's called Story Fire. It's another way of creating something. It's creating something that's going to cause more change than Psycho series or My Virtual Escape combined. And once we do that, once we actually have a place, a platform for the creators, one that we're, we're making story fire videos and we can curse and we can actually think about the creative, then things are going to get fun again. And then right. guess what? It's our platform. So nobody can tell us what to do. Nobody can be like, you can't, you can't even, you, you can't have a, a, you know, transgender person. Right. And I mean, like, like just stupid things that are literally destroying what it meant to be a YouTuber. And that's the narrative I want to change. I received so many DMs just in the last 48 hours. We have so many new creators coming on board. We have so many new investors coming on board that this thing's about to blow the freak up right. because everybody's pissed off. They just removed, like I said, verification. They just took away live subscriber counts. What's next? Right. That's the big question. And you can't What's tell next? me. And it's not for the community. It's not for the creators. So then you beg the question, why are they doing it? It's before mainstream artists. They're That's trying to dismiss right. and discredit the independent creators. And it's the same thing. They, they drew a line in the sand when they sided with mainstream media when they tarnished PewDiePie, their number one creator. Our number one creator on Storyfire, which, yeah, okay, is myself. But when we get organic creators up, we're always going to defend our artists because that's what we're all about. It's not about the money. It's about having a platform where you can be creative and be yourself and one that you can be fairly compensated for. But at the end of the day, we're not going to sell out because we want to be like cable TV and, you know, we want all these Hollywood celebrities. It's not about that. It, right. It really is ridiculous. You look at YouTube Red Lake, and I, 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 on, I love the Cobra Kai series, right? So the end of the last series was them having a big brawl in high school. Well, how come they can do it? But if you have any kind of violence in your video whatsoever, it's being re repressed. It, nobody's getting pushed out. Like it's such a double standard. Like have one standard. Right. That's just annoying so bad. Like, it's okay for them to do it. It's like Big Brother. Like okay, you can go do it. Say right. what you want and do something else. It's bull. Yeah. It really is. And you know, you changed my life. You changed his life. You changed his life. You gave us an opportunity to do something at four years old. I had no idea I had a passion for. That's gone now. 
So all the people that have a passion for these things, it's gone. You can't do it now. Your passion doesn't matter. All you care about is a dollar and cents. Mm -hmm. It's bull. Yeah. It really is. And it's something that I think we've all been in denial about. I think deeper than we realize that because we're just, you know, going through the motions and like, yeah, we still got to make content. There is no other alternative. That's sad. That's what happens when people get locked into a job that they don't a love. Job. You get locked into a relationship you actually don't love. You get locked and trapped in these boxes. But like, this is us trying to punch through the box. And if you don't support Storyfire, you're the loser. Right. That's right. You're the one. You're the bad guy. If you don't support the people trying to rise up, if you support the big tech, whose yep. side are you on? Yeah. That they're a faceless company. YouTube does not give a f about you. No. We care about the creators. So you're like, ooh, I don't like Storyfire. It's gonna fail. Guess what? We got millions of dollars to fund this. You don't know anything that we're doing behind the scenes. We have all the biggest creators that know about the fire and that are coming on board. You are the loser for not being on the platform. You are the naysayer. You are the negative Nancy. But yet you're supporting this conglomerate that is stealing and using all of your data. You're on the wrong side. You should want competition. You should want the people standing up. You should want all these things. Unfortunately, there's so many people out there that they they don't want to be told what to do. They feel like they're being told. You're right. not being told what to do. You're 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 being trying, given an option. You're, you're, yeah, people are trying to explain to you there's another option. There's a better way. Uh, you know, YouTube started out great, and they've changed. And we keep thinking a lot of people out there. I'm sure you think that okay, it's it, it can't go this way. It's gotta get better. They had the right ship. It's not. If you look at the past, like a couple of years now, it's not getting better. Yeah. It's going the opposite way. It's Every actually getting week. worse for everybody. And, I mean, heaven forbid, I mean, it used to be that almost everybody could put up ads on their videos, right? Mm -hmm. Now you gotta, you know, get a, a, so many minutes watched and so many subscribers to before yeah. you are. And then they take their time to actually approve you for, mm -hmm. for that. It shouldn't be this way. I mean, you guys are putting out content. Right. You're creators. The people right. have a voice, right? Who's making the money here? People have a voice, and YouTube stifling that voice. It's yeah. yeah. America is about having your own voice. You have the right to do what you want to do. And when YouTube first started, everybody had their voice. You can go on YouTube, do whatever you want to do. You can put your video out for everyone to see. You can see it now. You can't because they're gonna. They're not only. It's not that you can just not make money. They they suppress your views. They don't yeah. put it out for anybody. Nobody can find it. It's such bull BS. It, it, it's it's absolutely people outrageous. still say they're like you it's still make videos. It's completely against what our foundation of our country is based on. Right. It really is. It's horrible. They're the empire, and we're the rebellion, dude. Hundred percent. And guys, that's like download Storyfire, and and once again, uh, it's just we're battling your cynicism and preconceived notions about a thing that you guys only get scraps of. But like, please think for yourself. Don't be the bandwagon. All the, everyone likes to pride themselves on feeling like they're, you know, Making having difference. unique thoughts. But like, realistically, everybody who's very negative about Storyfire is only doing so because other people are negative to Storyfire. And it's just easier to be negative on stuff. But like, if you don't start to change your mindset and be the changes in anything in your life, what a miserable way to live. Because yeah, like, true. did I true. Did, did I think that it was going to be hard to become a big YouTuber? Did I think it was going to be hard to rope my whole family, extended family, and literally convince them to be literally a-holes on video? Was it hard to do this virtual reality series, or hard to make a documentary and sell it to Verizon, or even hard to make this app and have hundreds of thousands of users? Was it hard to convince people? Yes. But do you think that I ever was so negative to think that it's not possible? Do you think I would have gotten anything done if I thought that wasn't possible? Do you see where thinking that way gets you nowhere? I choose to think that there's hope and that there is going to be a change in the system. I'm going to be proof of that. And if you're not following me now yet, you will. And I encourage you guys to be the change. Yeah. It starts, you guys got to come yeah. over. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I think we're going to Finally. End. Yeah. That was, uh, you can't end in the better spot than that. Yeah. Let's yeah. just stop it now. I don't even know what we're going to do with that video, but yeah. yeah. And the podcast. Stop, yeah, yeah. The, the, the podcast can't end on a better note than that. Yeah. You're 100% right. Because, you know, it's it's like what we, we've been saying week after week. E e either you stand for something, you fall for everything. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, 
to you you can't go in the future if you're holding on to the past yeah you can't go forward and so. i can't keep doing like videos that are like i knowingly going to get demonetized or that are the right. same formula from like four right. years ago it's it's time to get with the times and acknowledge the truth that's in front of our face and yeah. youtube sucks and story fire is better and story fire is going to be the future and yeah. if you disagree with me you're wrong it's and, time to slay and, the giant, dude. And, and the main Daily thing is, life, is that I, I believe that YouTube and Google, they've lost focus. Mm -hmm. You're they focusing on the on the creator. They're not focusing on the creator anymore. They're focusing on the dollar, and that's what it comes down to. Yep. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Um, until next time, hey, yeah. grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge.